What's up, everybody? Gonna play this again. Let's go. Wait, hang on. Uh, which one is this? Continue. Continue. I'm excited. Though. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Let's oh, go. Oh man, now we've fucking done it. We? No, you've done it. What's the triangle? You brought dude? the freaking cattle to my. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. The place. This. This is exactly why they came. Because of your racist statements. It was an accident. Oh man, we're fucked. I'll tell you that. I, I mean, you saw that horse this morning. You know, he, he was big, fast, and athletic, and he still died. I'm gonna miss watching the park run throughs. <laughs> nah, okay, hang on. Now we're in the park run through, you idiot. You, I bet you at least one of us dies the first day. Now we're in a park run through, you idiot. No, we're in a van. Ugh, we're so dead. Look, a fucking rat zombie. Two of them. Don't make eye contact. What's the difference between a rat and a zombie rat? Oh god. Uh. What's the difference between a rat and a zombie rat? How can you not take this seriously? Chill, we're in a van, we're fine. Speaking of fine places, look at this. Hey, don't drink, don't, don't read and drive, how are you doing that? Hey, don't read and drive. Relax, Larry, there's no traffic anymore. Of course there is. Right. So check this out. There's an ad for a scavenging guild on the back of the bull's map. It says they have rooms, electricity, and running water. Wow. Well, wait, but the bulls live there. So what? It has a very inviting message. Maybe they'll let us join. I doubt the bulls are the ones running the place. Well, it beats living in a rat zombie infested town. They have points next to each item. Looks like this is how you pay for your stay. Oh, with items you bring? Yeah. So that's what the bulls were doing. Does it say where the guild is? Hmm. No. Looks like that part's missing. Of course. It must be somewhere in this town. We'll find it, but we should scavenge a few items so they'll let us in. I'm done with that. Well, we need to bring at least something. Whatever. We don't even know where it is. Is that a guinea pig walking down the road? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it's good to know that some of us little guys can make it out here. That is reassuring. Although I'm sure this is one tough guinea pig. Surviving on his own. Look at us. What are we good for? That's not a bad question. What are we good for? Larry, I've got an idea. We may not be strong like those bulls, or motivated by addiction like that parrot, but we do have all these walkie-talkies in the back. We can exchange them. For drugs that will make us strong and motivated. For food? I, I think food is more important than drugs right now. I don't know. It's it's it, it's it. Mm. No, for, food? for food. No, I have an even better idea. What if we get that guinea pig to do the scavenging for us? Well, why uh -huh. in Spot's name would he want to do that? Because I'll convince him. That's what I'm good for. Ah, oh, jeez. Why are you pulling over? You're actually gonna ask this random animal to scavenge for us, sir? Hello. You're not serious. Greetings, travelers. I'm Hank, and this is Larry. I'm Elliot. Well, it's nice to see that the 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 small. Oh, I get it. That that small one right there. That's probably a Yorkie. That's what that is. You look like the apocalypse has been treating you well. How's the apocalypse been treating you? You look like the apocalypse has been treating you well. Really? That's the kindest thing anyone has ever said to me. Absolutely. Anyhow, we have a proposition for you. We know about... An easy place for scavenging. A valuable place for scavenging. An easy place for scavenging. And we can show it to you. Oh, thanks? Well, here is the proposition. You go in and scavenge the place while we are your safety lookouts. 
You will take this walkie-talkie, and we'll watch you with binoculars and guide you to safety. So you want to show me this place and help me scavenge it? This is really kind, but why would you do that? Because we'll both benefit. After you come back, we would keep... Uh, 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 20 percent. Mm, well, if we gotta make it alluring, so how about mm, 35, 35, yeah. 35 percent of the loot. Hmm, that seems like a lot to share if I'm the only one actually scavenging. I, I don't know. Let me take the weekend to think it over. Okay, listen, how about if we keep... Uh, uh, okay, 20%. 20% of the loot. Hmm, I don't know. Don't you think 20% of the loot is fair enough, uh... Uh... Ensuring your, uh, insurance, insuring your safety? That, that, that one seems a little bit threatening. Ensuring your safety, so showing you a great place to scavenge. Showing you a great scavenging place? That is true. But I've seen pretty good places myself. Oh, you haven't seen them as good as this one. Okay, what if we agree on 15%? I think I could do it then. Sure, 15% it is. Alright, why not? Making new friendships is very important these days. Totally. And this should be fun. I've never thought of scavenging on a team this way. This is the only safe way to scavenge nowadays. Oh, but wait. Have you ever done this kind of thing before? Uh, yeah. We've been doing this... Even before the apocalypse started, for almost a whole week. For almost a whole week. At least I'm not your first experiment. <laughs> nah, we wouldn't use you as a guinea pig. <laughs> oh, cabbage, I did it again. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hank. Th that's such a terrible stereotype. Those were extremely hard times for guinea pigs. It's, it's okay, really. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, uh, of course I didn't. That oh, rabbit has no filter. Scavenging place. Dude, I can't believe this actually worked. So where are we taking him? Let's choose one of the places on the map. The bulls have them marked as potentially good places for scavenging. Okay, dude, climb aboard. Oh dear, what happened to your eye? Ah, uh, I just ran into some door. Just ran into some door. I took the advice of an idiot. Just ran into some door. Oh, okay. All right, time to go. Okay, so what do we got? We got the drugstore, essential supplies, the bug, the bus station camp. Uh, essential supplies seems to be the one that, that speaks to me the most. Also, I'm gonna get a drink of nice. Of Here tea. we are. The toilet supply store. What? I guess I was expecting something a bit. Uh, different. Fucking bulls marked it as essential supplies. Who? Never mind. I'm sure we'll find some useful things here. At least for trading. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, I'm going in. Good luck, sir. Please do not die. I'm in front of the store. Oh god, I can move. Oh, the door's dude. locked. You have the lock picking set I gave you? Well, I'm not really sure how to use it. Don't worry, I'll guide you. Okay. No way. Oh! Okay. Like a frickin'... Like a frickin', uh, one savant. That peculiar lockpicking technique. Let's not overanalyze it. It works. Let's see. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, P protection, like for some of this stuff has a solid value in the scavengers guild. Do you mean the scavengers guild west of here? I uh, yes, I think so. I hear that place is the best. They've got security, running water, sometimes even electricity. You you've been there? Wait, you've been there? No, I haven't been myself. I live with my family and a few friends. Not like the guilders would let us join. Why not? They are very selective. Oh, cabbage. How selective? Tremendously. I've heard from a few members. They only accept the best of the best. And there goes that plan. Hold your horses, Larry. Who says we're not the best of the best? 
<laughs> oh. I hope we don't get this guy killed. Diapers pack. Yep. And more. Mm, pack of tampons. <laughs> Wet wipes. Somebody might use it. I mean. And more. Mm, actually, bandages might actually. Actually, ba yeah, that's actually a good idea. Get the bandages. Get the bandages. This is good. That's a this good thing. This is too easy. I know. I mean, do you really think he'll give us our percentage of the loot? Why wouldn't he? We're not doing anything for him. What would keep him from dodging us on the way out? We drove him here. Yeah, big deal. We showed him a toilet goods store. So what are you suggesting? Let's say he avoids a zombie because of our help. Then he would feel like we were valuable and wouldn't just walk away with all the loot. Where do we get a zombie? From our wild imagination. We fake a zombie? Yeah, something like that. Not bad, Larry. I can see you finally learned something from me. Yeah, hey, don't take away it. my credit like that. Jeez, chill. Uh, Elliot, we've got a bit of a situation. Yeah, what, what is it? Uh... Uh, have you killed zombies before? How do you feel about killing zombies? Well, let's ask him this one. Have you killed zombies before? Yeah, but I don't want to go through that again. Well, then you better hide and get real quiet. Y you see a zombie? Get away from the window! Alright, so what is it? A zombie? Uh, yes, one's headed away. Actually, it does of them. I don't want to freak you out, but there's a whole horde. Yes, one headed your way. I closed the door. Trust me, closed doors are not much of an obstacle once they see you. Oh. You gotta hide. Okay. Good. Just stay there. All right. Is it gone? Uh, no. Oh, still wandering around. Oh my gosh. Oh well, my okay, god. I think it's gone now. Are you sure? Yep. Good. I really want to avoid facing them. You're safe with us. Yeah. Thanks. Anything else for looting? Yeah, one more shelf. Ah, uh, wet wipes. All right. Oh, wait. There's another aisle around the corner that I missed. There's toilet paper. Head over there. Kind of seems out of your line of sight, though. After that last zombie scare, I don't really want to be where you can't see me. We can tell from here it's zombie free. We'll listen for zombie like sounds. We can tell from here. We'll listen for zombie like sounds. We'll listen for zombie like sounds. What? These are high tech army walkie talkies. If we increase the volume, we can detect anything. What if it's not making any sounds right now? Mm. It would have made some sounds by now. I'm positive it would have made some sounds by now. You've been in the store long enough. I guess. All right. Please don't get killed. So here are a few one-ply toilet papers. Just a few one-ply? Is that really as good as you can do? What's the difference? Well, one-ply, come on. Um, okay. Let me go further down the aisle. Oh, nice. There's a lot of two-ply here. Yeah! Zombie! Oh zombie! my god. I think it's, it's half of a zombie. A zebra with no legs. And it's still moving! Elliot, are you making this up? Why would I do that? Who would make up a zombie? <laughs> Only... Well, maybe some animals in a very specific situation. Well, maybe some animals in a very specific situation. But listen, there can't be a zombie without legs. It would die. Unless it, like, just lost its legs a moment ago and didn't have time to bleed out yet. I'm telling you, it's a zebra with no legs! So what? Are, are we supposed to abandon all known science, logic, and reason? Because it's the freaking zombie apocalypse? Yes! Okay, okay, let me check it out real quick. I think... I think it's just a handicapped zombie. You mean it was handicapped before it became a zombie? Yeah, I think. Well, that I can buy. Okay, Elliot. If it doesn't have any legs, then you're safe. Well... It's near the two-ply toilet paper. 
So what? Uh, you think it'll hurt you? You think it'll hurt you? No, but still. Come on, two plies worth so much more. We really need those gill points. I hope they don't get this well, guy I guess killed. I do owe you guys one for saving me earlier. Mm, uh, or, you know what? If you're afraid, let's skip this. Sure, just be careful. Okay. What's going on? I'm trying to go around it, but it's pretty fast considering it's. <clears throat> It's, uh, you, you'll thank me later. Thank me later. Here it is. That is a lot of toilet paper. We're gonna need this in the zombie apocalypse. God knows we'll be shitting our pants from all the fear. The fear. What, what, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well. Yeah. Yeah, baby. There you go. You made it. I'm coming back. No! Oh, I got my leg. Get oh, out God. of Oh, God. Let go, you stupid. Ah! No. What's, What's going, going on? on? I escaped its grip, but I think... I think it scratched me a little bit. I'm sure it's nothing. Well, according to zombie movies, scratch means... That's not realistic. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, I hope. I'm coming back. Okay. They're great. You don't think this scratch means... I wouldn't worry about it. I doubt that's how the zombie virus works. You've seen people with scratches survive? Um, uh, no, but it's perfectly no, logical. No, but it's perfectly logical. I think you're right. At least I my hope family so. won't have to worry about me turning into a zombie in the middle of the night. You have a family? You're a smart guy, you know how to handle things, so can we have our loot? I really hope this doesn't affect our deal, but I would I would avoid going home. You're a smart guy, you know how to handle things. So can we have our loot? Thanks. Sure, here's your part. Hot to get a dog, give me all of the things that I really need. What the fuck? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Hey. Hey, wait a second. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Bandages. Bit. No. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. I don't. I. I don't. Well, I mean. Mm, no. Really? Tampons are like. Tampons are like the one. Okay, uh, four P. How much greed agreed to percentage fifteen of well, I mean, yeah, what is that? Pack of tapons? That's so like eight, whatever. Really? Toilet paper is less. Ruby, see you around. Bye. Where next? Mm, let's see. Uh, drugstore. Let's get a scavenger first. So the bus station. You think we'll find some animals in that camp? That's what the map says. It's some sort of gathering place. I'll we'll see if we can find our next tea. scavenger there. Are, are you serious? No way! You just watched an animal get wow. killed trying to get you two-ply toilet paper. We're not doing this stupid shit anymore. We don't know that for sure. Plus, you're the one who put his family in danger by telling him to go home. No, I just told him to think with his own head. Well, regardless, scavenger guiding is a dirty business. Things happen. It's not always gonna go according to plan. 
This is not a real business. You just made it up. So what? I'm not allowed to start up new, original businesses? Sometimes I think you're completely psychotic, dude. Hey, would you prefer you got the zombie scratch? I guess not. Well, there you go. You gotta survive somehow. All right. But we need to be more careful next time. Lives are at stake here. Before we arrive, let's review a lesson from my notebook. All right, let's see what you got in there. This is what's going to truly make us successful. I've actually read a few books on influence. I'm curious if you know what you're talking about. So what? You gonna judge my real-life experience with your book knowledge? How do you think these books were written? From fictional experiences? I don't know. Anyhow, let's start with the one I like to call phrasing matters. Phrasing matters. And also oh, that's yeah, a I really good this. peppermint tea. Back when I was a life insurance salesman, I used to tell people, when you pass away, your family will get the money. But then I changed my words to, when you walk out, money walks in. And I doubled the sales. It's extremely important how you phrase things to animals. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so how do we use this phrasing in our case? Uh, what words do we use a lot? Hmm. Killed, attacked, scavenge? Yes, we use that one a lot. Uh, instead, let's use, uh, hmm. Gathering resources. Sounds good. Uh, of course, we only want to use this one if we want to soften the level of danger in a prospect's mind. If we want to intimidate him, we'll use the scariest version available. I agree. So, what else do we use a bunch? Zombie. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. Walkers? Nah, Walking Dead's worn out that one. Uh. Biters? Lurkers? Lurkers? Walking Dead. Right. And that one sounds even scarier than Zombie. So, it should be good for intimidating. Yes, but we need something that takes away that power. That makes our prospect less scared, and easier to convince the scavenge for us. Like... Bastards? That's dumb. Dumbasses dead fur? Dead fur? I don't know. Still scary. How about weirdos? Hmm... That could work. I mean, they are weird. Making weird sounds and movements. Well... And let's think some more. Nah, there's the camp. We of those will do. Wow, look. There are a few animals here after all. I don't know why Good. I'm getting so let's fidgety. Let's talk to our new prospects. Hello. Would you like to be our scavenger? Whoa. Seems pretty cozy. Let's see if somebody's up for some scavenging. And if they know anything about the guild. Okay. Uh, how about her? Hello, ma'am. What do you want? Just the conversation. How's the zombie apocalypse treating you? Oh, just awesome. My husband was the first to go. And then my little Joey hopped away in the middle of the woods and I haven't seen him since. And then... That's terrible. You don't know the half of it. If your kid's missing, then what's in your pouch? Hank, that's a little forward. It's fine. If I can survive my husband being devoured, I can survive a little rudeness. Anyhow, I'm sure your supplies won't last forever. How do you feel about some... Resource collecting. Resource collecting. What are you talking about? We can show you an awesome place and guide you while you pick up some items. Your black eye friend looks like he could use some guiding. Me? Nah. The, the, the little thing is from a Friday bar, bar fight. You should see the other guy. You should see the other guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you did him good. No, you meant the other guy was huge. No, that's not what I meant. Anyhow, I need to stick around the camp in case my Joey shows up. All right. But let me just tell you that... Stop trying to sell me your scam, rabbit. Okay, okay. And how about... Uh... A friendly item is tra some trading. Some trading. Sure. Let me see what you got. Okay, well, uh, since you're... How about this? Uh, wait, what? Where's mine? My inventory. Um... Uh, 
this. Uh, that. Some of this. Uh, these. No, 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 no. We need that. That the soda. Yeah. And some that. Some of that. That seems fair. Yep. See you around. Lovely day, isn't it, sweetheart? Excuse me? It's a lovely day? Yeah, it's just great. I love the landscape sprinkled with corpses. Uh, it's, uh it's, that's quite an image. That's quite an image. Can I help you, Rabbit? We're looking for a strong, healthy individual to assist us with... Uh... Gathering resources. What kind of resources? Useful, Useful ones. ones. Uh-huh. And what kind of assistance were you talking about? We'll bring and guide you through... Uh, resource collecting place, scavenging location. A scavenging location. And we'll keep you safe from... Weirdos. Weirdos. Who? You know, weirdos. What weirdos? The crazy body animals. Zombies. Why didn't you just say so? Well, nowadays, they're usually called weirdos. First time I heard of this. I told you we should keep thinking about the name. Nah, weirdos is good. It'll stick eventually. And then when you come back, we'll split the loot. No, I don't think so. Why not? Look, I'm trying to join the Scavengers Guild. Maybe you've heard of them? I'm not wasting my time and risking my life with you two losers. That's awesome. We're also hoping to... Just a second, Larry. <laughs> uh, what he's saying is that... Uh, we're trying to become members. We're from the Scavengers Guild and we could totally help you out. You might, yeah. Let's, uh, let's we're do from that. the Scavengers Guild and we can totally help you out. Seriously? Why didn't you say so? We don't, we are, we thought you figured that already. We don't like to brag. Eh, we don't like to brag. Oh, okay. So you can help me join? Yeah, but I don't know if you heard, it's really hard to get in. Yeah, I did. But if you go scavenge with us, we'll put in a good word for you. Right. No, seriously. Word of mouth gets you in eventually. Hmm, <laughs> I guess. Plus, you have nothing to lose. We'll keep you safe from weirdos. Hmm, okay. I am considering this little venture of yours. Then you should consider that... You get some touch not, top knot loot, you just fly through that place. In and out, no time. You'll just fly through that place. In and out in no time. Yeah? Hmm, that sounds good. I really don't want to get stuck in some hellish building surrounded by zombies. Not a chance of that scenario happening. Okay, I'll do it. But I want to keep 70% of the loot. What? You would 70%? Take it or leave it, Gramps. Mm. You know how dangerous it is out there? You know you're safe with us. You know you're safe with us. Yeah, I guess it is safer this way. Fine, I'll do it for 60%, but that is my last offer. Groovy. Okay, let's do this thing. By the way, I'm Hank and this is Larry. Okay, I'm Krista. We'll be back in a minute. We'll be back in a minute. We want to talk with a few more animals before we go. All right, but come back before I change my mind. Okay. Let's go... Why is this going so slow? Talk with this guy right here. Hello there. Hiya. Are you here to throw some dice? Maybe. But we have a few questions first. Have you heard about... Did anyone mention any guild communities around here? Did anyone mention any guild communities around here? Hmm. I played a game of dice with a few animals from some scavenging guild, as they called it. Yes, that's the one we're looking for. Do you know where they're located? Nope. Any useful information you can give us? They are terrible at gambling. Oh, you're a big help. Thanks. Well, how about taking a break and playing a game? Actually, we have a proposition for you. 
I'm listening. We're about to head out to a uh... resource collecting area, scavenging site, resource, resource collect collecting yeah. area. Care to join us? No thanks, gentlemen. Are you sure? Uh, you could oh, uh, you could collect more items again. Ga uh, gamble scavenging is always a gamble. Research collecting is always a gamble. Scavenging's always a gamble. Yeah, a gamble with your life. No, thank you. All right then. So, do you want to try your luck in a simple dice game? Uh. Uh. Sure, but tell me the rules first. Okay, you have three dice. And I have three dice. We each take turns throwing a dice. Whoever gets a higher total number wins. But if someone gets a total that is higher than ten, he loses. You can choose to throw or hold each dice. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start then. Show me the items you want to wager. Uh, cigarettes. And what? We might need to wipe it. A chocolate bar. There. Just to see. Uh, throw dice. This score is six. Throw dice. Score is ten. Hold dice. Draw. Ain't that something? A draw. Here are your items back. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Wanna try again? Nah. Nah. Okay. Come back later. Wow, that's a slow moving ass boot. Hey! You losers ready? Hang on. Oh, never mind. Yep, let's go. Let's go! So, where are we going? The drugstore. Here we are. Pharmacy, huh? Yup. Let's get started. Alright. Here I am. We see you. Door's locked. Okay. You remember how to use the lock picking tools? Vaguely. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh god. Oh my god! I am bad. Come on. Oh my god. What is wrong with my hands? I don't understand. Fuck you. Fuck you, you know that? <laughs> Come on. Nice. Done. Here's some cough syrup. Good. Hell yeah. Let's get crazy with the cough syrup, man. And a few first aid kits. That very important, actually. Yeah, yeah. A roll of gauze. Mm. Actually, the med kits are more important. This is all important shit. Well, that's it. Really? Actually, there's a basement door. Good. Go down there. Most of the items are probably stored there. I don't think so, Gramps. I can't see a thing from up here. There's no safer place in the basement. On second thought, we'll skip that part and come back to us. There's no safer place in the basement. I don't know about that. What do you think? There are weirdos down there. It's filled with zombies. It's filled with zombies? Maybe. They would have already attacked you. Trust me. Safer in the basement. Nothing bad will happen. I'll watch. You're safer in that basement than up here. So now you're saying that I'm not safe up here. Your part of the deal was my safety. I'm saying that, considering it's a zombie apocalypse, you're safer in the basement. You're just saying what I want to hear. But I think I see some good stuff in there, so I'm going in anyway. Oh yeah, there's a lot down here. 
Mm. Mammal anatomy. Essential preparation for any medical. We might need that. Uh, nasal spray. The aid kits are actually more important, so. You're just gonna get the nasal spray. Just for allergy. Fuck you. I need this. I want this. I want that. I need it. 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 Fuck you. Get some cars. Why? I fucked up. Well, I guess certain sacrifices. The books are the one that causes like, like, like a lot more. Twenty-eight pounds. What the fuck am I doing? What are you doing? Whatever. Groovy. Hmm. Wait. What is this? What? Is everything okay? Ah! Fucking zombie! A zombie? Yes, a zombie! It almost got me. I barely escaped. We can see you. Are you blocking the hatch door? I'm trying. Don't let the zombie get through. Is there anything you can put on the door to keep it closed? Besides your body? I don't think so. Do you see anything? Um... Uh, 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 no. uh, uh, uh. You idiots are a great help! Let us think for a bit. Hurry up! You see what you've done? Sending a poor animal to her death? Oh, would you prefer it be you? Uh, n not exactly. But well, what the hell are we going to do? I don't help know. Help her. Uh, we really should have been more careful on our second run. It's a learning process, Larry. Hey, did, did you say your second run? Larry, you dumbass. The walkie-talkie's on. You're the one holding the button. Oh, right. Well, my bad then. I can't believe this is your second time doing this. You said you were from the guild. We are. Of course we are. It's just that... Uh, this is our second time guiding somebody. We just joined a few... We joined a few days ago. We joined a few days ago. Uh, I can't believe this. Uh, okay, listen. Do you think you can make a run for it? Are you fucking crazy? It's a coyote zombie. Do you want to get me killed? I barely escaped the basement. A freaking coyote? Yes! Well, shit. Okay, listen. You're gonna have to make... Just stay there and we're gonna go get some help real quick. You're gonna have to make a run for You're it. have to make a run for it. Are you serious? It's a zombie. It's not as fast as a live coyote. Where did you hear that? If anything, it's faster. It's a berserk, bloodthirsty beast. Nah, on second thought, let's go get some help. Mm. Nah, I'm positive. Make a See run. See what happens. Just run as fast as you can. This is the worst decision of my life. Okay, fuck it. Just do it. You can outrun him. Oh my god. Drive, drive! Ah, oh, that was close. No shit, it was close. You idiots almost got me killed. Hey, we told you you could outrun him, and you did. Whatever. You can drop me off here. We'd like our part of the loot first. Fine. Okay. First aid kit. Anatomy book. God damn, we're getting so much good stuff. Mm. That's a little bit too much. It's the book. It's the book. It's an enemy. What? Really? Hey, come on now. We need that. It's 
it's the first aid kit. That's what causing it to fuck up. But small med kit. Need the book though. Fuck it. There. Wait, so where is the Scavengers Guild? Oh, that thing. <laughs> I'll try joining after you guys tell them about me. The location? Yes. It's uh it's at Uh Sloppy Otter Brother Ducks. Sloppy Otter Brother Ducks. The Otter Brothers are running this guild? Uh, nah, they didn't the first day of the apocalypse. You know them? You know them? I worked one summer at the docks. Those two old greedy bastards are the worst otters I've ever met. Then you'll be relieved to know they died the first day of the apocalypse. Then you'll be relieved to know that they died the first day of the apocalypse. The guilders just moved into the empty docks. Oh, that I can see. That's a relief. I guess I'll see you at the docks then. Yeah, see you at the... Docks. Where next? There's nothing else left around here, according to the map. We should hit the road and get to the other side of town. Sure, let's go. Okay. Well, I guess the playground camp. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna leave it here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.